Hi everyone. This lesson describes how to express regret in the past. Many times in our lives, we wish we had done something differently. It's what we call regretting things. Let's take a look at how to express regret in the past by looking at a few examples. Ahmed wishes he had hugged his mother more often. Tom wishes he hadn't eaten so much. If only I had studied well. If only I had remembered to bring lunch with me. I should have run faster. She shouldn't have gone to the party. What can we notice about these examples? We are using three expressions to show regret in the past. Wish, if only, and should have. Look at these examples. Let's take a deeper look at the structure of these sentences by looking at an example from each. First, wish. Ahmed wishes he had hugged his mother more often. Ahmed here is the subject of the verb wishes. He is doing the wishing. The subject is followed by the verb wish in the simple present tense. Then we add a personal pronoun referring to the subject. The pronoun he refers to Ahmed. We then add the action or verb that was regretted in the past perfect tense. The past perfect of hug is had hug, and then the rest of the sentence. Well, what if the speaker doesn't regret his own actions, but someone else's actions? Like, I wish Ahmed had hugged his mother more often. Here, the subject in the second part can be whoever we want to refer to. If only is used when regret is very strong and clear and follows a similar structure. If only I had studied well. If only, followed by subject and past perfect tense of the verb. And then at last, we have should have. Let's look at this example. I should have run faster. We have the subject, followed by should. Of course, if the sentence is in the negative form, you can use shouldn't have, and then the past participle of the verb, followed by the rest of the sentence. We can also use this format to express regret for someone else's actions in the sentence. Leila thinks Tom shouldn't have eaten so much. Now you know how to express regret in the past. Thank you and see you next time.